cry. Cry it out. It's there. It's just, just kidding, I was acting. It was Whoa. acting, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I felt a real emotion in my life. I'm like a lizard or a plant or a robot or all three at once. Hey, is Shakespeare even real? No, no, not real. <laughs> but maybe. Maybe in maybe. no sense. Uh, Burbage, why don't you tell them what's happening? Shakespeare, I shall do it. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Shakespeare and Burbage. We travel the globe here on the... We perform countless countries, countless continents, and we come across a lot of people, and some of those people are our fans. <laughs> He's slipping away. Now I have to cover him as well. Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, we have a lot of fans of Shakespeare and Burbage. Sometimes they have questions of us, ladies and gentlemen. And so we decided to shamelessly steal that bit and put it into our own show for your entertainment, and it is something that we like to It did indeed. It did indeed. Shakespeare. All right, Burbage, what do you have? Some fan mail for me? I've got some fan mail. All right, pick one of the two. I'll take, I'll take the little one. You take the little one, I'll That's take nice. the big one. I can read small letters, you can't read. I can't letters. read at all. I'm functionally illiterate. Indeed. It's the world's least impressive, impressive ventriloquism act. That's a, that's a good bit, though. You should do that. I'm not doing that. Oh, all right. Ahem. First one. Oh, I have a question for you, Burbage. That's me. It says, ahem. Dear. Dickie B. That's me, that's my nickname, ladies and gentlemen. Richard Burbage, Dickie B. Dickie B, yes. Dickie and Willie together. Indeed. We, we get a lot of jests, it's alright. And we do. Very bullied growing up. We, anyway, as I was saying, head first into it. So it's Dickie B. Uh, why do you keep ruining your trousers so much? I'm worried for the sake of the clothing industry going forward. Ah, absolutely. Sign a concerned stitcher. Ah, uh, this is not the first time we have heard from a stitcher. This Please might be an hour costume. Right? I think so, it might be. We should probably, like, appease them, though. Well, ladies, What's the deal, though? Ladies and gentlemen, in sooth, I have ripped 53 pairs of pants upon my travel. That is a real number. Look it up, it's on my resume. I have big hips, ladies and gentlemen, and sometimes those big hips, well, I have a lot of cake as the, uh, the youth dog say. And uh, I am caked up, basically, on this Sunday right here. Caked up on And sometimes it's just too much cake for the pants to hold. The pants, they tear apart because they're just, we can't hold it together any longer. And uh, then, that is why I have pants right here. Truly, just, truly a nightmare. Truly a nightmare, truly a nightmare. of our age. All right, Bernard, do you have a question for me? Shakespeare. Since it is Time Traveler's Weekend, we have a Time Traveler's theme as well. Oh, fantastic. Indeed. Now, it says, Dear Willie, that's crossed out, and it just has a picture of an appendage beside it. I can guess You can probably guess what it is. I got an idea. It says, Dear Shakespeare, Dear Shakespeare, if you could time travel to any time in the world, where would you travel? And why? Oh, why at the end? And then it's signed, it's signed Richard Burbage, but that's crossed out. And then it says Dickie B, that's crossed out. And then it has another picture of an appendage at the bottom. Probably the same one. Probably yeah, the same uh, one. Well, good people, uh, people, when you hear the question, when would you travel to and why? Wherefore, which is what why is, not anything else, it's wherefore. Language with Shakespeare. Language with Shakespeare, you learn things with us here. Uh, people think, oh, the happiest time of my life. No, 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 good people. I would travel to yesterday. Why is that? A good question. Here's the answer. Yesterday, I had an incredible buffet dinner. Ooh. I took a massive nap afterwards, a really fat nap fat afterwards. Nap. Oh. And then I sat down and was on the toilet for a good hour and a half, and that was stellar. I just want to experience that for the rest of my life. If I could, if I could trade places with a hibernating bear, oh. I would live a golden experience, good people. Oh, very good. And that's what Shakespeare would do. Tell your English teachers. Indeed. <laughs> it's that has been good people. Fan mail, ladies and gentlemen. I'll take you to that. I can't read, so I don't know what it is. It might as well be nothing. Shakespeare. Burbage. Could I have the honor of doing this next segue? Sure, buddy. I won't let you. Well, I probably will let you. You, yeah. Don't make. Don't. I would say don't write checks. Your your mouth can't cash. No. But we don't. We don't have any money. Exactly. Yes, please tip us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Mr. William Shakespeare, please. Indeed. The man among men, the bard among bards. As you're seeing, well, it's tough to be up here. It's tough
tough to be us just being silly and goofy for all of me. But it is especially hard for this man here. I mean, he is a, a world-renowned playwright. Plays out of his ass crap. My God, there's like 40 of them. There's 50 of them. He's also written some fanfic as well. A lot of fanfic. A lot of fanfic. Uh, you should probably check that out. So it's even about us. Indeed. That's not really fic, though. That's just it's kind of like a non-fiction. Right? That's just fan fact. Fan fact? Yes. That's a new segment. Shut up. All right. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, what we're trying to say to get around to for this bit is that, well, it's tough. It's tough to be the boss. Be the subject of a song. It's a boon of our profession, the adulation and the bonds. And who am I to write all if I'm forced to be an idol? If they say that I'm the bard, that's what I am. What's for if we don't comply with our patron's wishes? I can see us being. I would not say that. That's not a thing I would say. Shakespeare, you said it last night, 
he was asleep, ladies and gentlemen, and he woke up, he said, Richard Burbage, my bestest friend in the whole world, I want to do your song, not mine, because mine is stupid, and I'm a silly butt. And then he peed the bed, he went back to sleep. I said I wouldn't say anything I did to ladies and gentlemen, because I'm a good friend. You just said, put your head down. I don't want to say friend after all. First of all, good people, Yes, the bed was wet. No, it was not pee. I just have some very shapely pillows. Leave me alone. On brand. And it makes sense. Second, good people, I call, uh, bullshit. That well, happen. Shakespeare, we have to end the show somewhere or not. Fine, 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 fine. But what if we did a, uh, a mashup of the songs? Mash them together. People like that. The people do love a good match. Yes. Yeah. I mean, those are two. Thank you, yes. Those are two very different songs. But maybe we can make it work. I think we can make it work. Fine. Alright, we'll do that. Here we are. Hey.
tell you something, tell me. I am what? Acting. You are acting! Totally fine. The immortal bard, good people, I cannot die. I forget every time I try to kill thee, Shakespeare. I'm the cat that keeps coming back. The time traveling kitty. That's enough. All right. <laughs> Good people, we are a brand new act, so if you did enjoy us, feel free to go ahead and follow us and like us on the social medias. We are at Burbage and the Bard on those places. We want to take the show on the road, so if you'd like to leave a comment or review or something. If you didn't like us, say nothing and tell your enemies. We accept them both ways. Directly following us here, ladies and gentlemen, is the, the Ray Siren. The Sirens! Siren. That's what it is, yes. So please, stick around for them. They slap our whole asses. Yes. Until the next time, that's William Shakespeare. That's Richard Burbage. And we are Burbage and the Bar!